to begin our meditation shall we all sing the hymn the lord is my shepherd from psalm 23 from our childhood you must have meditated on this psalm so many times you must have heard so many messages based on this again today let us try to learn something new from this psalm i read it for you the lord is my shepherd i lack nothing he makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside quiet waters he refreshes my soul he guides me along the right paths for his name's sake even though i walk through the darkest valley i will fear no evil for you are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil my cup overflows surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord for a while this psalm has lot of inspiring power in itself when we go through difficulties pain and suffering when we read this song we are very much comforted david wrote this song when he was a shepherd he was not a king he was not yet anointed as king but he was having some problem with saul so saul wanted to kill david david to save his life running from place to place he was hiding himself with his supporters on the hills and he was hiding in the caves this was the situation he could be killed any time even in that situation he says the lord is my shepherd the lord is my shepherd do we have that kind of faith in our life when everything goes well 
it is very easy to say god is my shepherd but when we try to save our life when we really go through difficult situation like david can we say the lord is my shepherd if we have that strong faith like david i'm very sure all the other things which he is mentioning in this psalm will come through in our life in that he says god will take care of him god will meet all his needs he will provide all his necessary things this is the assurance which we get from this psalm many times we feel when we follow our lord jesus closely then we will be blessed we will be getting lot of blessing but we should remember one thing knowing god and living with him itself is a great blessing that we should remember so here he says god will provide and meet all his needs he would lead him along the green pastures and he would take our lead his cattle through the quiet waters this is god's assurance many times we feel that we are not protected we face dangers but remember david is telling the lord is my shepherd the main characteristics of a shepherd is to feed the flock and also to protect the flock if the shepherd is not good when he sees a wild animal or thieves he will run away in david's life when he was standing in front of the king saul he says when i was taking care of the cattle once a tiger and once the bear came and we killed them and saved the cattle this is the quality of the shepherd, good shepherd god is our good shepherd many times we think that god is not answering our prayer but remember since he has given his life for us he knows the value of life he will not just leave us like that he would save us even in this pandemic situation we are very much scared of the future we are very scared we do not know what is going to happen to our country how the financial situation would improve these are all the questions we have but do not worry if you have that kind of questions leave it to god the psalm says the lord is my shepherd it is his responsibility to lead and guide the cattle in the green pastures he knows where to take his cattle when to take what the sheep will have to do is just follow his voice wherever he goes will have to follow that's all nothing more we need to follow when god speaks we'll have to listen many times in this world what happens we pray we ask god to listen to our prayers when god speaks and when he tells us to do something we are very busy doing our own work we can we are not able to listen to his voice so in this evening as we meditate on this psalm let us remember 
God will surely take care of each and every one of us. He knows the situation. We are in his hands. It is his responsibility to meet our needs and also it is his responsibility to protect us. We need not do anything. Only one thing what we will have to do is we will have to listen to his voice. If we listen to his voice, I am very sure things will go well with all of us. God bless you. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you very much for this wonderful evening which you have given to us. Lord, it's all because of your grace and love we could see the beginning of this evening. Let this evening be a blessed one to all of us. Give us your peace. Lord, as you know, the whole world is going through a difficult situation. People are not having enough money. People are really struggling. Everything is closed. Lord, we commit this situation and we are keeping. We do not know how long this would go on, but we know the, this world is in your hands. We are in your hands. You are our good shepherd. You will take care of us. Even if we walk through the valley of shadow of death, we fear no evil because you are there. With that hope, help us to continue to live for your glory. Help us to do your will in our life. Help us to do all the good things and help us to live like salt and light in this world so that the people of this country may be blessed. Lord, we commit all those who have listened to this message and attended this meditation and you are keeping. Take care of them. Give them your peace. Meet all their needs. Remove all the tension and the worry from their heart and mind. Lord, give us the good assurance about the future so that with your support and help, we can overcome this difficult situation and we can face the tomorrow with great joy in our heart. Lord, we ask you to bless this night in a very special way so that we can sleep well and we can get up early in the morning to glorify your good name. Lord, we commit all those who remember their birthdays, wedding anniversaries and all the other good things in their life. Bless them. Let this day be a blessed one to all of them. Help them to see many more years in their life so that they can continue to rejoice in you. Lord, once again, we commit ourselves and your keeping. May your blessing, peace, joy, good health and protection be upon each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. Good night.